a very, and off camera, on camera, very humble, very grateful. Um, you understand your path, you know, you stay in your lane, so to speak, and do your thing. Is that, is that just who you are? Is that, would I say, how your parents raised you? Because, you know, we're in a world where it's so competitive. Everybody wants to do everything. Yeah. But sometimes you have to understand, you know, just take a little break, you know, just understand yourself. Yeah, you see, the thing is that because of where I'm coming from, we know uh, we appreciate a lot. Mm. And at the end of the day, because of where I'm coming from, the kind of airplay and then the kind of, you know, attention that, like, we, we were supposed to be getting, we don't get because we are far away mm. from the media in Accra here. Okay. So if I have been, like, you know, I've managed to, to get mm -hmm. recognition, like, you know, in the capital, it means a lot, you understand? So I, I know I, I like... I, I'm expecting more from the whole media. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting that much attention that I need, but at least what I'm getting to, we That's appreciate good. it. Yeah. So yeah. if I get more, <laughs> it would be nice. Yeah. yeah. One thing I also love about you is, you know, whenever you're having these conversations, I see you in interviews, you're always bigging up your people. You're always mm -hmm. talking about the North, even though there's a distance, you know, wanting to, you know, break through in every part of our mm -hmm. crowd. Do you think generally, right, when you are watching the media space, we're having mm. that conversation enough. Because yeah. Kumas is Ghana, yeah. the North is Ghana, Takrad yeah. is Ghana, not just Accra is Ghana, yeah, yeah. right? And a lot of artists, again, this conversation, we've heard yeah. it sometimes, you know, if yeah. you're not in Accra, you're not going to break through. Yeah. The media has to push and stuff. Yeah. Um, are we having that conversation enough? And has it gotten better in involving the whole Ghana, you know, as a whole when it comes to the artists? Yeah, when it comes to that, I would say the, the industry is weak when it comes to that. But trust me, you will see some big songs in Accra here, which is not big in the North. Mm. Oh, yes. Because the North is very big. Yeah. Uh, looking at where I'm coming from, I'm from Tamale. And there's Wa, that's bigger city too. Mm. And there's Boga. And you know what? These places doesn't speak my dialect. Oh. So even to even, you know, make it big. Yeah, in, to in, cross in, that border, right? Yeah. Alone to, it's a big it's, challenge. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So I think the industry need to make sure that they expand their hands uh, when it comes to the north. Mm. But uh, that thing they are saying that, you know, you, you would have to be in Accra before you can make it. I don't believe in that. Mm. Because me, uh, I didn't come to Accra before, before I become who I am. Yeah. I was just in Tamale. The only thing you have to do is make sure you do good, make sure your own people accept you. Mm. And when your own people accept you and they push you, the whole world will get to know you. But we can't say this with that. We, we all know that Accra is the capital. When you have the big song in Accra, automatically it is everywhere. Mm. So the reason why we are now pushing hard is that we don't want to, you know, uh, stay at our comfort zone. Okay. Because we need a bigger okay. market. Uh, yeah. You understand? Okay. So that is yeah. why. We are here to promote mm. our music. Do you think it's going to change anytime soon? Where we have oh. three, four, five fancy gadams, you know? Oh. Because you're, you're, you're trailing. No, it, it, depends on, it depends on what I'm bringing now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. When you listen to the album, nobody will tell you. Okay, oh, okay. Yeah. So we're actually going to get oh, to yeah. the album, you know? Nobody will tell songs you. on there. Oh, yeah. Um, and I want to know also do you get agitated, annoyed when it's, they say, try to box you in and they say, oh, you're the king of the north? You know, that's, that's fancy gadams. I don't place. like it. I don't like it. I don't like that title anymore. Because uh, I don't want to stay in the north. We are all Ghanaians. Yes. So don't uh, don't uh, tell me I'm the king of the north. No, I'm one of the kings in Ghana. You understand? And the day, people that you you are even calling kings, you know, what are they doing? They no go feed one. Make a, make a, make a, make you see me well. They no go feed dua. So what's the difference? We are all kings. We all deserve that respect. Mm. So don't. Tell me I'm the king of the north. So anything that has to do with the whole Ghana, you limit it to people who are, who are in Accra. Yeah. No, no, no. I don't like them. Yeah. Who because I, I think you hardly hear them say the kings of Accra. Uh, <laughs> like, you know. But did you, did you understand why they were doing that before? Yeah. Like, if you think it, about it, 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 it is because where that's, I can't say I'm not from the north. Definitely. Uh, yes. I represent the north any time. But when it comes to, you know, we are all pushing Ghana. Because it's through music. And the music is a food to the soul. Anybody can, can like my music, whether I'm from the north, mm. or I'm from the from Kumasi, or I'm from, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Do we 
I don't know this, and I genuinely want to know, do we have artists crossing borders coming to the north, performing? Oh, yes. Like some of the biggest artists? Oh, yes, yes. Okay. Almost every year, they, 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 they come to do shows in the north, mm. like Stone Boy, Shatawali, uh, Sarko Deer. Yes, my, my, I did the show with Sarko Deer. Nice. Some years back, it was successful. Like, you know, a lot of artists are yeah. coming to do. That's good, that's shows, good. Yeah. It's, it's good that you're adding your voice to this, mm -hmm. and, you know, it's good that you appreciate your people, yeah. and it's good that you have dreams the way you do. And you recently actually had a concert. Yeah. Oh, it was crazy. As and always. I asked you off air, do you know the number of people that were there? And you were like, I you can't don't even know. Like, <laughs> fancy for years, you yeah, know, these people support. This, yeah. I mean, looking at something like that, right? Mm. And you know, one thing about success is somebody like, let's look at Messi and let's look at Ronaldo. Yeah. They do it so many times, mm. it becomes normal. Because or Messi normal. scored 100 goals. Yeah, normal, yeah. <sighs> Ronaldo is born in Bali. You got to be easy. Uh, yeah, but you see, that's the thing. Yeah, that's what actually yeah, was about to say. People be yeah, like, oh, fancy yeah. Duan. It'd be easy. But I'm assuming you don't take that for granted. The oh, same yeah. amount of work goes yeah, inside. Yeah, Am yeah. I right? That's true. That's true. That's true. You know, uh, the, you, you be, you be amazed. You ask yourself questions. Why is this people supporting Fancy Gadam so much in love? No. It is the work. We, mm. we, we always make sure that every year we put in work and then. The people who are supporting Fancy Gadam are not stupid. If you're not doing something right, why would they support you? Yeah. Yeah. So it means there's something right going about Fancy Gadam. That is why the love is always increasing, the fan base always increase, and then we are winning a lot of souls with music. Yeah. yeah. So the thing is, you actually have the launch of the album yes. at this concert. So yes. we're going to watch the highlights. When okay. we get back, we're going to get into the album, your favorite songs and all no that. No problem. And you have another concert coming up. Yes. This guy is sleeping, man. Guys, check this out. Let us know what you think.